I'll remember him with great affection and, and with enormous admiration for, for what I think was his tremendous courage. The quote is, I look at boring people every day and I say, God, I wish I could be like that. But my lot is to be unique, special, so I have to put up with it. It's a hard life, end quote. Actor David Rappaport's hard life is over. He was 38. This is Entertainment Tonight for the third day of May, 1990. Again, everybody, I'm Mary Hart. And I'm John Tesh. Actor David Rappaport, who starred in the Wizard television series and appeared in several episodes of L.A. Law, was found dead late yesterday in the Hollywood Hills. Police say he apparently shot and killed himself with a 38 revolver. You don't measure a person by their height. It's the size of their heart that really matters. David Rappaport, the diminutive star of the 1986 TV series The Wizard, committed suicide in this section of Los Angeles yesterday. He had been despondent following another suicide attempt two months ago. Rappaport was 38 years old. Well, I have a dream too, you know. Born in England of normal-sized parents, Rappaport started acting on stage in 1977, eventually winning film roles in The Bride and Time Bandits. He turned down the role of R2-D2 in Star Wars, but went on to have his own starring role as the Wizard, playing opposite Doug Barr. He'd made an acclaimed appearance on L.A. Law in 1988 and repeated the role last November. When you go back into that jewelry room, don't you dare feel sorry for us. Former L.A. Law executive producer Stephen Bochco has fond memories of Rappaport. I'll remember him with great affection and, and with enormous admiration for, for what I think was his tremendous courage just in, in, in facing life every day. Throughout the years, Rappaport never complained of any prejudice or bitterness regarding his height and always remained optimistic. <laughs> Smoke is beautiful, man. <laughs> Rappaport had been in counseling for depression since first attempting suicide on March the 4th. He also had recently finished work on a comedy series for British TV and had just signed for the starring role in a movie. As she plans to appeal. Diminutive actor David Rappaport has been found dead apparently from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Earlier this year, Rappaport had attempted suicide by inhaling automobile exhaust. He was 38. Sherry Sylvester looks back at the career of this accomplished character actor. British-born David Rappaport first became known to American audiences as Randall, leader of a group of dwarves turned interdimensional outlaws in Time Bandits. I'm just on the other side, the fortress of ultimate darkness. We've made it, lads! We're here! I didn't want to be an actor, but people kept saying, we want you to do this part and we want you to do this part. And I thought, no, I want a regular job. But acting became Rappaport's regular job. He followed Time Bandits with a role in the feature film The Bride, which brought little acclaim from the critics, but a great deal of satisfaction to the actor, who took on character roles with meaning and refused those played only for visual effect. Right from the beginning, I only, if I had to be an actor, I thought I'm only going to do an acting that pleases me, that's good characters. And if I'm offered stuff that is just having a small guy walk backstage somewhere, then I wouldn't do that. You've got to be selective, and once you start proud to call you putting the word out that you'll only do good character roles, then that's what tends to come your way. Rappaport's persistence paid off with his own series. In 1986, The Wizard starred him as an inventor of high-tech toys. Here, catch one of these. Rappaport worked regularly, most recently in L.A. Law, he once said in an interview that what he wanted most was to be treated like a regular, boring, normal person, but that, quote, my lot is to be unique, special, so I have to put up with it. Would you love me forever if I were a king? David Rappaport was 38. 